Hey Tyler. Hey. Do you want to write a song like after the burial? Back up, back up, back up. They call it the jet. <laughs> and then they do like crazy, like. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> gotcha! You thought this video was us? You thought we made this? No! No, we did this? This pe- No! Get real. Welcome to the original brand new hit series, How to Actually Write Like. Yep, a whole brand new original series. Brand, original brand. It tested well among demographics of all age groups. Okay, look, so I'm a big baby and I like to hide behind my lame excuses for my insecurities, but I fucking love this band a lot. And when I made this piece of shit video, this garbage, this whole thing was just a quick bit. It was a cheap gag. It was gross, sad. Now it's time to do justice by the music. It's time to right my wrongs. It's time to correct the how to write like that wasn't written quite like right enough. One of the gentiest bands to have ever gented ever deserve a lot fucking more than one shitty riff. They deserve a lot of shitty riffs. And I mean, hey, if I keep at it, I'll be the entire 10 year tour all by myself. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Hello, what's that, Sumerian? Yeah, I will be your opener. Sure, of course. Fine. No, it's fine. Whatever. Fuck era. That's cool. Yeah, so we'll talk about Shaft of the Glory. Okay. Fine. So a bunch of high school guys from math class started a band called Master the Variable. First guy's name was Trent. Trent Howdahal. Definitely dwarven name. The other guy's called Justin Lowe. We call him J-Lo. They together they make this album called Forging the Future Self. Which in hindsight makes a lot of sense because it's like, you know, the We're Figuring Shit Out album. I mean, they weren't always defined as metalcore after this album. Kind of genty. Okay, so 2008 rolls on by. And uh, you have Trent has Gimli Fuck and Mother J Lo. And they get together and they record a second album, Rare Form. Wow, it's technical. In addition to guitar, they also did the drum programming and lyric writing. Soon after, they got rid of their vocalist. Gee, can't imagine why Trent took a break from writing his lyrics for him to fire him. Crazy. But then they done went and picked up Anthony No More Tacos as, as their new vocalist instead. And Dan Carls Jr. from Game of Thrones, also on drums now. With all these new guys, they went back and did Rare Form made it sound all pretty and nice. In 2010, In Dreams was invented. It's the year 2013 already. Gee, time really flies. Band ABR is doing great, playing new songs off their upcoming album, A Wolf's Wheat Thin. Uh, you got the band playing on their signature new custom shovel, finely tuned with EMG pickups. EMG pickups by Ibanez. Nine string or one string, don't matter. This <laughs> just sounds the same, either way. Ibanez, where boring ass guitar shapes meets pickups that are just pretty okay. Anyways, as I'm sure a lot of you remember, in June 2015, J-Lo said he left the band citing mental reasons. He was declared missing after a month and his body was discovered only the next day. It's still unclear whether his fall was accidental or intentional. To get away from all these 17 year old bloggers who want to fucking interview him on their smartphones in the middle of traffic. Honestly, we're just playing what we like. So you use the XFX to record the album? Um, actually I can answer that. Oh shit, XFX questions? Yes, finally! Actually I can answer that. Yeah. What? Right. No. Actually, my cable. Get the, my cable to work! Get the you and Trent both are eight string guitar players. Yeah. Talk about that. And we just wanted to tune lower. The domestic animal is mentally underdeveloped. He's the axe man, right? He's, yeah. Plays a really big eight string guitar, which is insane to me. But held for the first time this neck and it was like, holy crap. <laughs> it's like, man, that thing is wide as crap. I, guess. <laughs> I play guitar. I just have never played yeah. with the, I've done, I think I played with the seven string once and I was like, yeah. cool, but I'm not even that good on a six string <laughs> guitar. So why, why add another string? Ah, um, fuck. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, I know. I just made a bad no-no tragedy joke, but I did it because Justin and the band weren't just amazing musicians, they were fucking hilarious, and I would be in tears every time I watched the 12 Days of Rhythmus. Every time. It was a fun time. Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. Welcome to our home. We're just sitting here having some eggnog while we wait for the host to fill up our jacuzzi. And I think if Justin was here today, he would agree with me when I say I would rather fucking die than be interviewed by this guy. Anthony from After the Burial. What's that? So that would probably go this way then. Oh, Rob here with Anthony from After the Burial. There you go. That was my 
I'm not a vocalist. I just, I try. It's kind of quiet. You're taller than me, and I don't yep. like people that are taller than me, because I'm usually the tallest person. Oh, okay. So, what? so and I'm, honestly, I'm usually self-conscious about it, because I'm like, if I'm really tall, and like, you know, people are, you know, average size, they look much shorter, and then like, the whole image that people have in their heads of like, musicians being larger than life, I crush that. Yeah. But not with you guys. What the fuck? No, you lose today, man. Yeah. Sorry. I don't like this. Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Just lose. So, I think, like, uh, you guys uh, are bringing back the breakdown, I feel. Not that it went anywhere, but you're doing it right. Uh, did it go somewhere? Yeah, you're still smiling yeah. right now. It might be because of me, though, because look at me. I'm fucking gorgeous. <laughs> all right, guys, all right, all right. And uh, since we ended on such a high note. From after the bear. There you go. I am so sorry I just made you guys watch that. Like Actually, I'm not sorry. It's 2016 and William the Shatner Law releases a new song early off their album. And boy, does it rock our house down. Our, our socks got rocked off in this, lost in the stat. They released their newest album on February 2016, along with a clear message on their status as a band. We lost a guitar player along the way. And by lost, he didn't quit, he lost his life. But instead of quitting, instead of calling it short, we kept going, we kept pushing forward. We found something. We found something inside ourselves. We kept digging, we dug fucking deep, and we found that little bit of light to tell us, to show us that we can keep moving forward. And we want you guys to know if we can come up here and do it, every single one of you guys can as well. Three months later, the bassist quit. Also, in February, it was a tour announcement from Sumerian that would make gent kids just water at the mouth. The 10-year Sumerian anniversary reunion tour with all the three Illuminati bands you love. The exact same fucking thing that Justin Lowe said he wanted. Um, your 10-year anniversary is coming up. Do you guys have anything special planned as a band or? Um, nothing like set, but uh, I would really like to do a, some sort of 10-year uh, like tour maybe or a uh or a show or just something special you know maybe we'll uh, put together a couple old songs or something you know I don't know just something something cool to uh, you know recognize that it has been 10 years already so that's crazy I've learned a lot from these two guys the way they've learned recording by just doing it and self-producing all of their own music is obviously a big freaking deal to me so enough with wasting your time about shit y'all probably already know let's go ahead and get what with the songwriting and such to start things off, we're going to have to find a tone, so we're going to head on over to axeffects.com.org and then search the band after the burial. Look, there you go. Song title, patch. Click on it. Directions. Wham, bam. That doll, folks. Step three, just imagine like this awkward, like the most clumsy, he trips over himself, like milk out of his nose shooting nerd. He's just awkward. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Oh god, oh sorry, yeah. excuse me, sorry, pardon me. I'm gonna drop my glasses on his own. Step four, tell your mommy you're gonna go on the big boy slide at Water Park Land. Ah! Okay, step five is kind of like, you know horses, they make like that <laughs> sound. Okay, you just gotta take that and make a breakdown out of it. Horse down. <laughs> Fucking play a wah-wah solo, insert obligatory Kirk Hammett slam here. I guess you'd consider this the happy chorus bit, but it's still kind of a breakdown anyway. You know, because eight string gents and such. License registration, please. Hmm, I see. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you been drinking tonight, Mr. Guitar Fingers? Alright, let's leave the house. I got my key, uh... Oh, fuck! Where'd I put my keys? Oh, shit! Where'd I put my phone? Oh, shit, my phone! Where'd I fuck? Step 10. Can we do the slide one more time? Yeah! Then step 11 is... Uh, Guys, who invited Mel? Hey guys, super fun party! Do you wanna make it see my wiener? Step 12, the holdout. You know, like in every metal song I've ever written. Ever. Step 13, just start naming off every Nickelodeon show you can remember. Go ahead. SpongeBob SquarePants. Motherfucking Angry Beavers. Fucking Cat Dog. Angry Beavers SquarePants. 
choruses are super easy to solo over. <laughs> Step 15, full circle. Um, wait, wait what, Here, mine. where my am microphone, I? My microphone, mine. That's my show. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for watching. We really do it appreciate really it. It was really cool of you. If you want to maybe keep an eye out, we got an album coming February out. February 11th. It's going to be on, like, available on the Apple. Spotify. Google. Bunch of dog <laughs> shit. Anyway, if you want to maybe pay for it, we'll even give it to you for free early on Bandcamp if we feel like it. We do. We like you a lot. Okay, so the song's going to start anyway. Have a happy day.